when he was asked about whether the match fixing charges affected the Congress in any way. Now, moving back to uh, the Satyam story, yesterday the public prosecutor said in court that the number of employees were increased by, by, by were fudged by Rambalingaraju. There are actually just about 40,000 employees, while the real number was shown as 53,000. Uma Sudhir does some calculations and gets us this story. Ramlingaraju said he inflated profits. The CID's public prosecutor said in court on Thursday that he inflated the number of his employees. That Satyam has no more than 40,000 employees. That salaries of 13,000 so-called employees, or one in every four, was probably being diverted elsewhere. Raju's lawyer said that is a lie. It is nothing but an imagination and there are no grounds for such a kind of accusations. NDTV has learned that there are about 32,000 salary accounts of Satyam in ICICI Bank that handles more than 90% of Satyam's salary payments in India. HDFC has another 2,000 salary accounts. Add to this an estimated 15,000 salary accounts overseas. So should the banks come under scrutiny for facilitating of salaries to non-existent employees? What about RBI norms on knowing your customer? ICICI sources told NDTV that it is not possible that a salary account will be opened in the name of a non-existent person because there is personal verification, photograph and signature. They are however cooperating with investigating agencies to check the authenticity of each of the salary accounts. Satyam showed over 5,200 crore rupees as its salary bill in 2007-2008. How much of that went into Raju's own pocket and how is the new challenge for the investigators? In Hyderabad with Radhika Iyer, Uma Sudhir, NDTV.